Hello YouTube, this is Dean the Hero again, bringing you another game of Halo 4. Now this game is a little bit different, this is a join in progress game. And as you can see, um, unfortunately I haven't ended up with the best teammates possible. Um, so obviously to counteract this, I've got to have a slightly different playstyle, so I'm a lot more aggressive in this game. Um, you know, a lot different to the previous games that you've seen me play. And sometimes if you don't have the best teammates, if they're not as confident or just not as good at slaying, sometimes you've just got to change your play style just to make sure that your team can get the win. So you'll see this ta this game, there's not as much slow paced gameplay, it's, it's a lot more aggressive because of that reason. So while you're watching this, I just felt like I'd mention to you all that when the Master Chief Collection comes out in a few weeks time, me and a few other people on my friends list are having a race through all four campaigns. Um, on heroic difficulty in teams of two. Now, anyone that wants to join us for this is welcome. It doesn't matter about level of skill or how much experience you have with the game. Literally, anyone, anyone is welcome to join us. Um, so, just put some some comments below if you're interested, or message me on Xbox, and I can give you some more info if if you want that. Um, but the basic gist of it is, we'll be doing it in teams of two. It'll be on heroic difficulty for anyone that. That wishes to choose a different setting, that's fine. That's that's your choice. Um, we'll be starting on November the 15th, which is a Saturday, the Saturday after after the release. And um, we'll be starting at around 10 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time or UK time. So I know that's not very convenient for a lot of you players in America, but you know a lot of my friends are uh, obviously UK players, and that's what time suits us. But if you want if you want to participate, then you're more than welcome. Um, anyone that doesn't have a teammate or is looking for a teammate, say just post in the comments at the bottom and um, I'm sure we'll be able to find someone for you. Okay, so as you can see now we're uh, 11 kills down at the moment, so not going too well. I don't, don't think my team have too many kills at this point, no. The other, other people on my team only have one kill between them at the moment, but that's fine. You know, we'll just uh, keep trying our best. Now, even though I did get a mid-game join, I'm aware that the overshield will be spawning at about 8.50. So even though I didn't see that happen um, for the first collection time, I knew that it was going to turn up. So that's why I was waiting in that area. Okay, getting a kill there with a the bolt shot, which would have been quicker than reloading. And again, quicker than reloading. So everyone does get bad teammates. It's uh, sometimes it does feel like it's always always you that's unlucky, but this does happen to everyone. It happens to me as well. And sometimes you will get those games that you just can't win due to teammates or the other team just being more skilled. And that is something that everyone experiences. It it sometimes just feel like it's very unfair, but unfortunately that's just one of the things with online gaming. You're always going to come across teams that are better or worse than you. You know, so at this point in the game, let's say I have 20 kills, but my team between them only have 4 kills. But even though I've got my mic plugged in, there's, there's no reason to rage, which I know sometimes can be quite difficult. Um, you know, sometimes I do rage myself. But raging is not going to make your teammates play any better. You're just best trying to give them a little bit of advice. You know, try and, try and support them. Um, even, even though you know, obviously, that they may not be the best players in the world. Um, you know, everyone's going to have a slightly different skill level, so it's, it's always best just being polite to people. You'll, you'll get a better outcome from, from from your enemy teams, plus also your teammates as well. You, you always want to be as polite as possible, that's my advice for you. You know, a lot of the people that I team up with now, I mean, we've got, we've got Honda, Gable, Brand, Clover as well. Obviously, you've seen Clover on a few of my videos. 
all these are people that I've actually met online that have been on the opposite team, that have been on the opposing team to me. And the nicer you are to people, the, the more likely you are to to team up with them at some point or send them an invite. And you know, it's it's a lot easier to get to get a team going or make some new friends on Xbox Live just by being nice to people. Okay, so the game's starting to get a little bit more even now. We are starting to, to even out this score a little bit. Now, see the old shields come back up. Looking enough, I get there just before that guy does. That was more luck than anything, but great, I'll take that. Four kills down now at this point. How that guy got away, I do not know. Okay, so 44 all. Good position now, we've, uh, we've caught them up, so that's great. So your team's always going to try that a little bit harder if you're just telling them not to worry about the mistakes they made and just try and give them a little bit of advice. You know, if, you'd have, if I'd approached this game a little bit different, if I'd have uh, started being abusive, then you're more likely to get people they're going to betray you, they're, they're not going to put as much effort in. You know, it's all a lot of this is about team morale. You know, if you keep your team morale high, you can you can always always turn games around. with the growth of my channel so far. I'm on um, 65 sub subscribers I think I am at the moment which I'm very happy with so thank you for everyone that's that subscribed and supported my channel in this early phase. Um, when I hopefully get towards 100, 100 subscribers I will put up a game where I lose so you can obviously see the game from, from, from like a, a negative perspective so you can see that obviously I do lose games as well you know obviously um, all the games so far have been with just that can be more entertaining to watch but I can, I'll put a video up and maybe give a little bit of advice on when games go wrong you know because every, everyone will lose games anyone that says they don't lose is uh, obviously in denial but you, you can't you can't win everything all you can do is try your best and that's that's all you need to do as long as you're having fun and doing your best and that's all anyone can ask for I may have accidentally shot our sniper there. Okay, so the last few kills now, we're two kills ahead. And the last kill is just about to come up now. So there we go, so good finish there. Uh, mid game join. Um, I'd say maybe not the best teammates in the world, but in the end, it, it was all good in any case. So I hope you enjoyed that slightly different playstyle, and uh, like I say, leave your comments at the bottom. Anyone interested in doing this campaign race, or message me for some more info, and um, I'll bring you some more stuff when I've got some. Thank you very much.